Okay, I'm going to do example two and three in this one. Uh, the notes from the front page, uh, we're going to use that mnemonic. And since this one has a natural law, logarithms is the first thing in that mnemonic about what we're going to let u be. So since ln's a natural law, we're going to let u be the ln of x. So du is going to be 1 over x dx. And then dv is going to be the rest of it. In this case, that's going to be x squared dx. So the x squared and the dx the other part. And we're going to integrate these to get dv, or to get v. So v is going to equal x to the third over 3. So there's my u and my v and my du and my dv and we are going to plug that into the formula so the formula is u times v again so we are going to get the we usually put x stuff part so we'll put x third over three and the u times ln x you put the ln x first it's okay so we'll multiply those two together and then it's minus the integral minus the integral of v du. So we're going to have x cubed over 3 times the du part is 1 over x dx. And so this front part's all done, and that's just the answer to this integral. So we're going to leave the front part exactly like it is. And then we are going to reduce this exponent in the top, this x at this x, this one goes totally away and this becomes x squared. And I'm going to move my coefficient out front so it would look like this. And I still have my integral here. And then I'm going to do the integral of this. So this is going to be, again, x cubed over 3. If you want to write that one third in front, you can. Times natural log of x minus one third. And then I'm going to add 1 to the power and stick it underneath plus c. So this final answer is going to be x to the third over 3, natural log of x, minus 1 ninth x to the third plus some c. So that right there would be the, uh, the integral of x squared ln x. We're going to do this one with this in the same problem because this is an inverse sign. And also with those that front page there about the mnemonic, the Lee we're going to, this is an inverse, the first one's log, i is inverse, so we're going to let u be the arc sign, which is also inverse sign. And since that's u, then uh, dv is going to just equal dx. So when I integrate arc sign, I'm going to get 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then when I integrate dv, I'm going to get v equals, and integrating dx, v is going to equal x. So again, we are going to plug this into our formula. So it's uv. So we got these two multiplied together again. So we're going to put x first, then arc sine. I think I'm, I'm going to rewrite it inverse sine. These two things, arc sine and inverse sine, mean the same thing. You can write it this form or this form, does not matter. And then it's minus the integral. And it's going to be uh, v, which is x. So I'm, I'm, it's x times this, right? Well, I'm going to write it as x on the top. And on the bottom, I have 1 minus x squared dx. So it's v du over here. So that's the v du part. So, uh, we got to integrate this thing. So, this part's really done. So, we're just going to leave it out front. And then uh, I'm going to have to do u substitution on this one. So, we got to say u is going to equal the part in the radical. So, du is going to equal negative 2x dx. So, I've got the x dx, but I'm going to have to create the negative 2. And then I have to destroy the negative 2, 
which that'd be a negative negative, which makes us positive a half. So this becomes plus a half. And then we're going to have the integral of 1 over the square root of u du. And now we do this integration thing like always. So we're going to have x inverse x, uh, inverse sine x, plus 1 half. And then we have to move that, take this to the half power, and then move it up to the top, which is going to make that u to the negative half. Then we're going to add 1 to that power. We're going to have one half, and we're going to have u, and I add one to this, which is negative a half plus two over two. That's positive a half over a half, which flip it upside down. We get that two plus some c, and these twos will reduce. And we get x inverse sine of x plus u to the half. Well, a half is a square root, and uh, we're going to let, plug this one minus x squared back in for the u. And this right here is going to be our integral of our original problem. But I just now saw something. This was supposed to be from 0 to 1. I didn't see we were doing a definite integral. So I've got to put a 0 to 1 here. And then I did this substitution. So when I put 0 in here, I get 1 minus 0 is 0. And when I put... Uh, the 1 in the top up here, I get 1 minus 1. Oops, sorry. I should have plugged 0 in here first. So this is 1 on the bottom. And I plug the 1 in the top, and that's 0. So I actually should have gone ahead right here and plugged in my uh, 1 to 0 here, which I would want to flip this upside down, which would make this a negative. Or I could have gone back and plugged in 0 to 1 to this part and to this part. So i got to plug that. I think I'm just going to go back, and I think I'm going to leave the U in there, and I'm going to go from 0 to 1 again, flipping it upside down again makes that a negative, so we're going to plug it. Okay, into this first part up here. I should have, as soon as I did this integral, this is 0 to 1 from the original x part. So I should have plugged 1 in here and 1 in here. And then minus 0, which you plug in there times that is all 0. So I'm just going to leave that away. The inverse of 1 is pi over 4. You can leave it inverse of 1, or you can put in that value of pi force. Either one's okay. You, you don't have to change it anymore. So I'm going to leave this pi force. And again, if you left it arc sine 1 that, or inverse sine 1, that's fine. And then over here, I'm going to plug in. Oops. Sorry. I should have left the 2 here and the u, and then it's uh, 1 to 0 here. And if you want to flip it around and make it a minus, you can, but it's going to end up being a minus anyway. We don't have a plus C now. So I'm going to plug in the 1. You know, those reduce. So I'm going to have 1 minus oh, 0, sorry, 0 minus 1, because I'm plugging in 0 here minus the 1. So it looks like this whole thing would be pi fourths minus 1 would be the definite integral. Oh, I just realized I got the wrong number here. Sine is 1 at 40. Sine is the y value is 1 at 90 degrees. This should be pi over 2. So my answer actually is pi over 2 minus 1. All right, I'll talk to you next time.